Hey everyone, this is Rasko, and welcome to part 5 of DLP of Mobile Suit Gundam Side Stories. In the last part, we, well, kind of got screwed over. Now we're stuck on Earth doing little odd jobs. Well, might as well make the best of it. Next up, we're attacking something, well, very important. In fact, this might or might not be canon, but it's close enough to the area of canonicity that everyone has determined... Probably one of the most, some people have determined it's a filler, should I say? Not everyone, but some people have determined that it's pretty slow paced, but still decent, is Jaburo. Yeah, that's right. We're heading to Jaburo. Yeah, we're attacking Jab. well, we're supposed to attack Jaburo base thanks to the recon of some Xeon mobile suits in advance, but as we'll see when we get there. <laughs> yeah, so this is probably the night before or after or during the attack on Jaburo. I doubt that because, well, the gyms right here are moving, so. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. I thought the Jim's beams was powerful enough to pierce the armor of the Zakus. Whatever. Yeah, this kid's scared shitless, obviously. So yeah, we're here to rescue... It just so happens we're here to rescue these people. Yeah. Yeah, I actually like that they put cutscenes into this, like uh, anime cutscenes into the top corners, to talk. <coughs> Excuse me. Ow! Son of a bitch. So yeah, this is actually probably the second best way to evade uh, enemy fire. To double tap the X button and to do a roll. Whoa, I almost got hit by that gun cannon. It cheers us! Ugh! Yeah, um... Uh, screw this. Ow! That hurt. Alright, you wanna screw with me? Here! Yeah, there are plenty of enemies around here. So, yeah, you just gotta destroy all enemies... Till a certain... You know, then once you do that, all the cutscene will kick in. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the cutscene that we'll play will play for both the Earth Federation forces and the Xeon forces. Yeah. So, either you're playing teams, this cutscene is automatic. Ow. Ow. God damn it. Oh, what the? Oh shit. It slays Rafe. How about you stay the fuck away from us? Yeah, get out of here. You're no use to me. Ow. Now, I don't know what the exact premise is for getting the cutscene that's going to come up. I don't know if you just have to wound him enough or something. Yeah, this is me using the uh, special ability. So uh, I was immune to their attacks. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe it's when you get at least one of them to, yeah, a quarter of a health. There we go. So yeah, this cutscene happens no matter what. With either the Earth Federation or the Xeon. <coughs> so yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Meet Pixie. Yeah. This thing is a bitch. Now, I believe the program is hold. Is, uh... Yeah, just to show how badass this guy is. He takes down three Xeon mobile suits with little to no effort. Now, I believe that he is running a program... A base version of the, um... Uh, what is it called? The, um... Fuck! What the? 
Yeah, so if you're playing as the Air Forces, uh, as Slave Wraith, you've got to fight the Pixie. Uh, yeah, you can still lock onto the Pix to the Slave Wraith units. Don't just focus on the goddamn um, gun cannons, gun tanks, and everything else coming in. Actually, a good uh, weapon to have here is actually to use uh, Libero here. And use the um, his special ability for um, his charged up machine gun, holding down the L1 and the charge machine gun. <coughs> it does. Um, yeah, I love doing that. Yeah, uh, the SP attack there it is for of the uh, of the machine gun instead. That would be better. Due to the fact the machine gun can lock on up to three enemies and fire a rocket to each. And I believe if you... God damn it. Oh, you're still not loaded. Now, I believe Slave Rape can still attack you, but don't bother with them since they're ha they're getting... You know, they're being um, confronted by the, pix by the pixie. Don't bother with them. Just... Ow. Fucking gun can. Gun tanks. Uh, do, 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 do. Don't think so. Uh. Yeah, I'm like very nervous here. Come on, hold. Jesus, oh, I got killed. <clears throat> so yeah, the reason I got killed is that there is a rocket launcher GM here. Yes, there is a GM that uses a rocket launcher. So keep that in mind when fighting this area. Keep a lookout for that. Yeah, you see, I just dodged it. And now I believe all that's left is a gun. Nope, it's a GM with a rocket. Yeah, it's an anti-plane anti rocket, I believe, too. It's a quad RPG. Jesus. So, yeah. We say, fuck it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that was... We had to fight our way through to leave. <coughs> yeah, um... I'm less worried about that mobile suit and what the fuck's going on. Why did it attack its... It's allies. Oh, then again, the two would be connected. So yeah, maybe there's internal fighting in the Air Forces. I believe, though, the mission of the Pixie is to actually wipe out all enemy forces while trying to remain hidden. Like, uh, it's a huge test. I can't remember for the life of God of me what his... Uh... uh Is uh that ability is? Ah, oh, goddamn it! I know I'm gonna get killed by you guys for saying for not knowing. Then again, the um extra stuff from this series is not something I like. No, sorry, this, that isn't the pixie. Uh. Sorry, no, what we didn't face was just a pixie, I believe. Hmm. God damn it. This is the I'll do this the easy way to find it. Shh. Yeah, I'm looking it up, so I won't be paying much attention to the game. This mission is actually quite easy. This is a very easy mission. Just destroy the um, just destroy all the uh, gun cannons. Not the gun cannons. The uh, anti-ship turrets. Yeah, that's it. I don't think it's variation. <laughs> Excuse me. God damn it. Uh, video games. Side stories. There we go. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's called the Blue Destiny. I believe that was the first encounter with the Blue Destiny right there. Yeah. I believe it's... Uh, yeah, that was the Blue Destiny. The other one I mentioned that was called the Blue Destiny is the Pixie. So yeah, even I'm correcting myself. So I believe it has... Uh, the exam system. There it is. I believe the exam system was a op a prototype to um, uh, I believe it's a uh, Destiny was intended to to mechanize new types yeah so yeah it's a way of uh, mechanizing uh, new types um, so yeah this was to be the counter of it so it's the base if you want of the um, uh, and my mind just went blank and I know should know this by heart um, Uh, this was a base of the, um, NTD system. There. It was a base of the NTD system, but I think it's less reliable than the NTD system. Because the pilot has a potential of dying completely with the exam system. So yeah, that was the Blue Destiny. The Gundams we met with Slave Rafe, the one that was close range, was called the Pixie. Yeah, this is my fault. Um... The non-anime stuff, like video games, manga, in other words, all the, um, what is it on, I'm trying, I'm trying to call it the, uh, all the side stories, more or less, I, I know, bad pun with this, but, um, I don't know as much, due to the fact that I have a, I don't want to read up on all this just via a wiki or something, what the fuck? Yeah, I just sunk into that water too. I was like, what? what? Okay. So yeah, this is a gun platform, an anti-aircraft, uh, or a ground anti-gun platform. You bitch! You tried to hit me! And this is what you get. Yeah! You get a freaking tank shell to the face. So yeah, I really don't try to keep up with the exter the extra continuity of the series. Yeah, destroying that last one automatically causes the, the end. <coughs> so yeah. There, yeah. This was our mission, but there's so much more than they expected. That it's taking down these planes easily. Yeah, all that hard work for nothing because there are more gun platforms, more mobile suits, more anti air cannons waiting for them. Yeah, Jabaro's too well defended to even give, to even try. I do admit that in the anime they did a good job by what they did, you know, Shar and his team sneaking in, but, you know, there's only so much you can do. <clears throat> yeah, right, she goes, uh, we should go and help them, see if there's any survivors. He goes, don't be a fool, we'll be massacred if we try to do that. And, you know what, he's right, there is a high chance you get killed. Yeah, so even I'm correcting myself in this part. So that mobile suit we saw was the Blue Destiny, not Pixie. The Pixie is the one with the dual daggers. I believe uh, pilot by Ripper. That's the nickname, I believe, of the pilot. So yeah, this part's going to end. So join me next time, ladies and gentlemen, so we continue our journey. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, have a good day or night, and take care. I'll see you guys next part.